Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Frieza Final Form fierce warm-up Frieza that has come to Dokkan Battle. Now, I'm super hyped about this, and the reason behind it is because we finally have a new Frieza Final Form unit in-game. I am so happy about this. We haven't had a new, like, good, not free-to-play Final Form Frieza since the OG days back so far ago. And I'm not talking about the Angel one. I'm talking about before the Angel, so this the non-Angel Frieza. It was, had to have been one of the original banners. I know we had the... Uh, the Goku stuff, the Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, not Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku, and then the, the Frieza, well, the Technique Frieza was one of the original ones. Even though he was decent back in the day, one of the most hardest hitters, he got a, a stupid Doken waking to his golden form for the Frieza movie. All the Friezas back in those days did. So, Frieza's final form, he never had a good Doken Awakening. He had that crappy uh, golden form, which I never really liked because um, I liked the final form Frieza look design better. But uh, anyway, we finally got ourselves a new one, and man, he's a freaking great unit. So, here we go. Fierce warm-up Frieza final form. Leader ability. Extreme strength type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack. This time you might die. Raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill. Evilness arise. Attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack plus 80% within the same turn after receiving an attack. That is so freaking awesome. Link skills are Strongest Clan in Space, Universe Most Malevolent, Prodigies, Thirst for Conquest, uh, I clicked on that link, Big Bad Bosses, and Shocking Speed. He's part of the Planet Namek Saga category. And his, we're not going to go over stats, we're going to talk about his Doken stats. He has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, raises attack for one turn is 30% to the super attack multiplier, and his additional 80% attack is calculated separately for a total boost of 206% for one turn after being attacked. Now, the one thing that stinks about this is he has to be in the first slot, and the enemy has to attack him that turn. Otherwise, you're kind of SOL. You can increase the super attack, which is really awesome. You need to go and get this inescapable Malice Frieza first form. He is available from the Evil Emperor of the Universe. It's the final form free, the, the, the full power Frieza event, the OG Frieza event. You have to go here to level one, Fear Beyond Death, and you can go ahead and grind out this Frieza. That Frieza is going to Doken Awaken. You're going to need medals from that event as well. As you need three. You need three of those medals from that event. He Doken Awakens to uh, Runus Rule Frieza Final Form. This is the Final Form Frieza that I was talking about. Actually, I think the only other one was the Agility one, but he got a Doken Awakening too. Um, <clears throat> and he was also free to play and he wasn't that good. Uh, this one is cool. I mean, a high chance of attack plus 70%, but it's only a high chance of uh, an extreme damage to the enemy. But this guy can feed into the Final Form Frieza. I highly, if you guys are really free to play, that is what you're going to want to do to get him up to Super Attack 10 if you happen to pull him. Do it before you Doken Awaken. This guy now Doken Awakens, and he's going to Doken Awaken with 35 of the Frieza Medals from the new event. Uh, that is the Frieza First Form from the Earth Shaking Showdown event. Uh, that, it's the basic Frieza event that just came out. It's a full tech event, so bring your Mono Intelligence team or any category team pretty much will be able to take it on. Uh, pretty easy event, pretty straightforward. Um, I was able to do it. I think I brought my Realm of Gods team, and I had no issue with it. In terms of that... He finally, when he Doken Awakens to his final form or CR form, he Doken Awakens to Catastrophic Rage Frieza final form. By the way, he is not a Doken Fest exclusive, so that's freaking awesome. Um, also, do me a favor, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here and help show your support of the channel. Thank you, I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so, Super Attack, it hurts. Greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Irrational Fury. Attack and defense plus 80%, plus... An additional attack plus 100% within the same turn after receiving attack. Again, he has to be in the first slot, but between his additional attack of 100% and his eight attack and defense buff for just being there and greatly raises attack, this guy's a freaking beast. It is such a beast. I bolted, by the way. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> he gains uh, Fierce Battle, which is awesome because now he can link with more people, and he's part of the Planet Namek Saga category. His max stats without any dupe system, without any potential system. HP of 8069, attack of 8874, and defense of 4146. Base dupe system is 10,069, attack of 10,874, and defense of 6146. Um, with someone like him, <clears throat> I would, I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard. Uh, I would say to give him full crit, because he does have the built-in crit, so you could have a level 20 crit. But because he greatly raises attack for one turn, if he gets a double super attack off, that's going to be ridiculous amounts of damage on top of his passive skill. So that's kind of insane. 
Um, but yes, uh, so you can definitely give him full crits if you want to, or you could do a, a mixture of dupe system of, of additional attacks and crit. Uh, up to you on how you want to do that. 12 key multipliers, 140%, greatly raises attack for one turn, is 50% um, multiplier, which is insane. Additional 100% attack is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 260% for one turn. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Um, but remember, he needs to receive his attack first in order to get the boost. Uh, technically means that he will only get additional boost if he's the first attacker in turn. Yes, 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 that's what I said. So, awesome card though, I really do enjoy this card. It looks so freaking cool. Finally, final form Frieza. Um, I haven't taken him out on the battlefield yet. I don't even think I have. I haven't even started the grind to try and get out the Super Attack 10. I will do that at some point soon. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. So uh, when I do that, I have him full, fully maxed out. I'm probably going to take a full Frieza Force team because now you can do that with the, Frieza, the first form Frieza as a leader. Uh, full 120 team, but I'm going to bring a full Frieza team. We're going to do some gameplay. Uh, but anyway, let's go over here and jump into some team building. In terms of best linking buddies in game, his best linking buddy in game is the Korra. So actually, let's switch over here to the... Uh, Dokkan Battle Builder uh, view. So we have uh, Korra over here for six link skills. He has Big Bad Bosses, Universe Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirster Conquest, and Fierce Battle. This guy is ridiculous. He has a 30%, 45%, plus an additional 25% when HP drops below 80%. So what is that? 30, 45, 50, 70% attack buffs with this Korra. And four key. This, th These two are like best buddies forever. Forever. That's all there is to it. Uh, full power Frieza, um, full power Frieza links with four with Korra, so, I mean, it's up to you if you want to link those together, but that, that's it. Um, other than that, in terms of other linking buddies, you do have the first form Frieza, which is the one that we just came out. Uh, Big Bad Bosses, Universe Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Fierce Battle, which just means they're lacking one key link. Um, the same thing here, one key link, but this one has Prodigy, so that's awesome, so they have... Uh, yeah, Universe Most, so 15, 30, 40%. Uh, this one is going to be 50, 65% total uh, with full power Frieza. And then you have Korra, for, and Korra is a uh, five link skill slot. So that is, that's the um, uh, technique one, by the way. So they have Big Bad Bosses, Universe Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, and Fierce Battle. Uh, honestly, this kind of makes sense. Some of the most powerful Frieza characters in game are going to link the best with him. So he's going to be one of the best units that you can run alongside any of these guys that you want to. Um, it's just interesting that, that Korra uh, has a better linking buddy now than the OG Frieza. I mean, that's insane. Um, I think the only... Yeah, that's it. The, he is the best linking buddy for him in-game right now for Korra. That's freaking insane. I love it. Um, but yeah, so let's go over here really quick. We're switching over to, extra, or to strength type. Uh, in terms of strength type, we do have for three or more link skills, the LR Frieza, who has four link skills with him, is Big Bad Bosses, Universe Most Malevolent, Strongest Guy in Space, Thirst for Conquest. Not that bad. That is 30% um, uh, attack buff all the time when HP drops below 80%, attack and defense plus 25%, and two key for Strongest Clan in Space. LR Beerus is here for three link skills for Prodigies and Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. Uh, then you also have the other Beerus, the non-LR Beerus, which is the same thing, Prodigy, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle. Janemba, which is Big Bad Boss's Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle. Cell, which is Big Bad Boss's Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. And Omega Shenron, which is the same thing. Big Bad Boss is Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. Overall, decent link skills for a mono extreme team. So uh, I'd highly recommend running all of them together on one team. Uh, this also makes the extreme team a little bit better because if you guys haven't noticed, the extreme team does not have that many good units. Uh, not that it doesn't have any good units. It lacks uh, a good pull, pool of units. So if we go over here, just looking at this right here, I mean, LR Freeze, we're going to take this off real quick because... It's just a little bit of a pain. Wow, that was a really loud and obnoxious um, notification. Um, for, uh, uh, Rose, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Janemba and LR Broly are like the, the main units over here. Uh, and Omega Shenron. You literally need all of them in order to have some of the most hard hitting, hit, hitting units in game. So uh, just so you look uh, look at it over here, none of them really share that many link skills. Um, I mean, if you're gonna, if you do are lucky enough to have uh, Burly and you don't have a TUR version, because TUR obviously is gonna want to link with him, you're gonna, probably gonna put Rose there with him because they do share prepared for battle for two key, and Rose is passive, which is awesome. Um, then you also have Janemba and Rose, which is really decent as well uh, in terms of links. That's what 25% attack buff plus another 25% when HP drops below 80%, plus a defense buff and two key. Um, or you could do what I like to do, Omega and Janemba, because they're a really good setup as well with all of their link skills. Um, so for a mono extreme strength team, 
uh, it's gonna be very difficult to find good people. And having this Frieza now definitely adds to versatility for this team. Uh, while he doesn't link perfectly with everyone, he does actually link with them. So if you're missing any of these, like, he links with Rose for two links, which is Big Bad Bosses and Fierce Battle. Unfortunately, there's no key there, but because of Rose's passive, they're fine. He links with Janemba, and Janemba has two key link, plus the two uh, attack links. And Omega he has with three links, which is Big Bad Boss Shot. Yeah, so uh, a flat out attack, or an actual consistent attack buff, a, a two key link, and Big Bad Bosses. So Frieza is really, really good, and kind of almost a saving grace for this team. Uh, just because of his attack damage but just remember you do need him in the first slot in order for him to receive that that additional buff and that they need to attack frieza beforehand so they need to be before frieza and attack him first for him to get that actual buff but it's kind of worth it and he is a hard-hitting unit so it's kind of worth to keep him on primary rotation even if they're not there he at least gets that a defensive buff so he'll tank a little bit better um, in terms of the, what is it, the Planet Namek team? He has Planet Namek Saga team. Uh, his best linking buddies are the LR Frieza, which we already talked about, uh, for four link skills. The TR version of him as well. Uh, Big Bad Boss has Universe Most Malevolent, strong, Strongest Clan in Space, and Thirst for Conquest. Full Power Frieza for five link skills, which is the one you're going to want to link him with, which is Prodigy's Big Bad Boss has Universe Most Malevolent, strong cl Strongest Clan in Space, Fierce Battle. And we did two or more, so for this team, as you guys probably know, there's really not a lot here. Uh, the only other one for two or more link skills is going to be the Kaioken Physical Goku that just came out. These guys are reciprocals of each other, so um, <coughs> this the Goku came out on the Transformation Goku banner, the Frieza came out on the Transformation Frieza banner. So they share Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle, which isn't horrible, isn't great, but at least it's a one key link, one attack link, which is good to have overall. But that is everything for the Frieza. I think he's an awesome unit. I'm so happy that we finally have a new Frieza unit that is out um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna definitely get him up to Super Tech 10. I think I pulled one dupe of him, and with the bottom right dupe path, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna feed into it, and I'm gonna give him full crits on the bottom right. Um, honestly, if he goes to the top left, I might give him one, um, additional additional. Um, you know, just so that way it's not fully crit at the level 20 crit, but, uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'll see how that plays out. But anyway, guys, I'm hyped for that unit. I'm very happy about that unit. Let me know what you guys think about him down in the comments below, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.